I freaking love this indicator. The number one question that every Bitcoin investor and trader asks over and over and over again is, where's the bottom? Where's the top? And you know, there are several, several different types of indicators, different metrics, on-chain metrics, technical metrics, news metrics that can help decide these. But you know what? There's one indicator that I love that has literally called every single daily chart top and bottom of a trend except for one situation, and that is bullish or bearish RSI divergence. Let's go ahead and dive onto the chart. Looking at the weekly chart on the BLX, you're gonna see 11 different lines, 10 of them green, one of them red. Before I jump into each situation, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, these green lines are either tops or bottoms of daily chart trend reversals. The red line is also one, it's just the one time where we didn't see bearish or bullish RSI divergence call the turn. We're gonna go example by example and show you each time the trend changed and what we saw. So you're gonna see back here in 2011, we had an uptick in price action, but a downtick in RSI action. This is bearish RSI divergence, and this called the reversal reversal and the downtrend. Scrolling over a little bit later, later in 2011, we see the exact opposite. We see bullish RSI divergence where the RSI moves up, the price action moves down, calling for a bullish reversal. If we continue to scroll over as the years go on, this continues. Again, here's another top of daily action back in 2013. We have an uptick in price action, as you guys can see, but a downtick in RSI. Scrolling over over here to the reversal to the upside, we have a downtick in price action, up uptick in RSI. Let's keep scrolling and show you every single time we move it up, 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 up. Now, sure enough, here in 2017, it's time to reverse to the downside. But what is that? An uptick in price action, downtick in RSI, bearish RSI divergence. We continue to scroll to where we reversed again here in 2018, downtick in price action, uptick in RSI. This is bear bullish RSI divergence. We keep moving on, I could tell you, but sure enough, the tops, every single time you're gonna see this. We're either gonna see flat RSI with an uptick or flat RSI with a downtick. Now, there's one example, and that is right here back in 2020 that we did not see bullish RSI divergence call the reversal. But let's look at this situation and find out, huh, why is it that this one time we didn't see this consistent indicator call the bottom? So as you guys can see right here, clearly we didn't see any bullish RSI divergence. This is the absolute bottom of the RSI and the price action. Now, think with me for a second. What happened in March of 2020? I can't say it on this video, but it is, uh, you know, a disease that shall not be named. However, let's scroll back just a second because look how we almost immediately bounced back up to this level. What happened right around this price level of around $7,500? Right here, what I have circled, we have bullish RSI divergence that started an uptrend. The only reason we fell back down was because of the disease that shall not be named. We continue to scroll and move up the charts. You're gonna see, what is this? When we hit all time high of $63,000, $64,000, bearish RSI divergence, reversal to the downtrend. We come back down, bullish RSI divergence, calling us back up. What happens over here to the last time we hit all time high? Around $69,000, what is that? Bearish RSI divergence. Here's the thing, if you've been watching Coffee and Crypto, if you've been following me on Twitter at Tim's underscore TA, you're gonna see I've been talking about for a while, I think that we need to see daily RSI divergence, bullish RSI divergence. And there's a chance that it won't happen. And I've talked about that on a couple of different streams. But in light of this whole video, this would be the first time in the history of Bitcoin that did not have a black swan event that reverses to the upside if we do not have bullish RSI divergence. What do I mean? Look at this, this bottom action right here where yes, we touched down to 33, but we had a bottom wick closure on 35. That's the bottom action of the RSI on this downtrend. Do we absolutely 100% have to come back down? No, that's not true. And actually looking at the technical analysis, there's actually a probability that we might only come down to around 40 or 39 before reversing to the upside and entering into a long-term rally. However, it's just a little funny that this would be the first time throughout all of history we didn't have a bullish daily RSI divergence to reverse the trend. Do with that information whatever you want. 
I just want to come and educate you guys on one of the things that I'm looking for constantly if I'm trading or investing to know where is the top, where is the bottom. And even if we end up reversing to the upside without bullish RSI divergence, I will continue from this day on to pick my tops and pick my bottoms based off of bullish and bearish RSI divergence. That's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely consider subscribing because we're trying to help you become financially free in these cryptocurrency markets. And also consider following us on Twitter at CryptoJeb for more updates on the price of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Peace.